Good morning everyone and welcome to the Two-Headed Wolfhammer gaming channel as we are about to throw ourselves at Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr with the brand new class from the Sisters of Battle. If you've never played this game before or you don't know about it, it is an ARPG that is set in the 40k universe. You are an Inquisitor and you are investigating certain phenomena, you will see more of the story as we play along. But this is one of those games that I come back to it, create a character, play for a bunch of hours, move on from it, a few months later I'm coming back, create another character, play for a bunch of hours and so on and so forth. And I'm super excited to bring it to the channel today. So without further ado, let's create a brand new character. You can see that I have a few here already. I have more but every once in a while I've deleted them just to create a brand new class of that type. Some, for some reason I can't just keep a huge list of characters unless I make them to a point where I'm super happy with it. The last one I've played was this Heavy Gunner, a lot of fun to play with. But that's that, let's continue forward. If you don't know about the classes, you have the Crusader, he's sort of like a space marine as far as the way it looks, his equipment, in a way. I, it, it's not really but sort of like that you can get different starting equipments but that and starting skills but that doesn't set you into a class like if you do not like how you are playing you can always change the equipment you have reset points which you can use to reassign your skills you can create different types of builds there's a lot of fun and a lot of time that you can invest into your characters. Then there's the assassin here, like you can have a sniper, you can have shotguns, you can have like melee builds, a psyker. A psykers are a lot of fun. You have spells that you can combine with different modifications, so it changes their behavior around. I haven't really played him a lot. I kept it for a later date, but I haven't got around to playing it. Maybe I will do it on the channel one day. Then we have the tech adept. It's everything that you would uh, ex uh, expect. Sorry about that. I'm too excited. I have to cal calm down here a bit. But uh, it's everything that you would expect from the Adeptus Mechanicus. You can, it's more... You can create sort of a minion build using the different types of robotics and things like that. And finally, the reason why we are ho all here today, the Battle Sister. And we have a few expertises that we can choose from. For both of them, apparently, for all of them, the, the same text is up here. Battle Sister will both sanctify the Imperial weaponry and the power of the unquestioning faith. At the peak of their fervor, they can even become embodied saints, living vessels of the Emperor's will. So we have Faith Resource. Sororitaris Inquisitor use fate points to manifest acts of faith and become embodied saints. The method of resource generation depends on which sacred rite was selected before embarking on mission. Cool. Acts of faith. The burning conviction of Sororitaris Inquisitor allows them to channel the Emperor's light and manifest minor supernatural phenomena during battle. And embodied saints. When their passion soars through the heights, Sororitaris Inquisitors can temporarily turn into the Emperor's avenging angel and deliver holy retribution upon his enemies with devastating powers. I'm not sure I'm super excited about this one, it really depends on how it will look, but we'll see. So what are we going to play with here? We can either start with a bolt pistol and chainsword and a seraphim armor, we can go with Sister, Cel Sister Celestian, hand flamer and braziers or Celest and Celestian armor, or we can go with Bolt Gun and Dominion. I mean, I really enjoy the Bolt Gun as an idea, but I believe that I am, we're gonna go with Fire today. And I am going to go with a seasonal character. It's mostly because I might grind it at some point. If you don't know about seasons, seasons are like these temporary events. They last quite a long time in this game, but uh, you have a chance to go up a leader ladder you have the chance to grind out like different missions and objectives and you'll be getting cosmetic items and all sorts of things we're not gonna go in story mode story mode just reduces difficulty if you want to just find out about the story but i believe that the story is not the strong point of this game i'm just gonna call her atina would you like to skip the tutorial mission yes Um, let's see, no. 
Okay, so it created the level 5 character because we can skip the tutorial mission that is great for us. Super excited to get going with this one. Haven't played it in a while. I have another gaming channel by the way, it's called Two-Headed Wolf Gaming. I know some of you might have come from that channel. But I have such a huge passion for Warhammer and I've got so late into the game, into the Warhammer world. Like I really didn't know about it since, what is it now, like, I guess it is about eight years, no, six years ago, I think. Or, it was 2016, so it's about six years where I truly realized what a great and huge world the Warhammer world is. Repeating too many words there, but yeah, it it has been such so impressive. I have played Dawn of War when it first came out, and that's the first experience I've had with the Warhammer universe. But for now, let's just talk about this. Let's just get into the game, and we'll tell more stories later. Okay, Hand Flamer and Brazier, and also Plasma Gun. We'll check the attacks within the game. What can we do here? Getting critical hit chance, plus 5 to war resiliences, and gain a banner charge upon using an inoculator. Inoculators are like your healing potions in a way, but that you can modify. I am going to increase, because we do have 10 points, I am going to increase our resolve. First of all, to get 5% resistances all around. I am not really going to invest right now in critical hit chance because we are using fire and damage over time. Your chance to score a critical hit, the damage over time effects cannot a critical hit, but critical hits can apply stronger damage over time effects and CC effects that last longer. So we are very early on, our build does, wouldn't really add up to this in any way. So I'm not going to get the critical hit chance right now. What I am going to do is we're going to go one more level here in Passion. And I guess I'm just going to go to 1% max HP gained on kill. Sounds about right. And let's give the last points here. You can remove and add points as you play along. I am going to go with more flamers, so we're gonna go into hit damage. 10% extra damage bonus when overheat bar is over 50% and 20% extra damage bonus when it's over 70% overheat. That is great to start with. Minus 20% heat generated by the weapons, that could work as well. And 15% additional base damage for heat skills, but we lose the critical hit chance. Ah, so it cancels out either way. We're gonna go with this. Now what I am going to do for now is that I am going to work on straight up damage, then we're going to add whenever we'll be able to do so, we're going to add more damage over time because burn, when you do hit attacks you can apply burn, when you apply burn then you get damage over time multipliers to that attack, so that's what I am thinking at the moment. Probably going with debuffs health and defense as per usual it's something that is important and there are a few more skills here that seem more to be more into the sisters of battle area if sacred right effectiveness when you die in embodied saint form you instantly resurrect with 30 percent hp stunning all enemies within 15 meters this can happen every 1.5 minutes okay but this is a final attack get a few more inoculators capacity okay sure let's get into the mission she is looking really cool like the armor the armor within this game is really something else and what we have here movement speed of four on kill for five seconds how about we go with no critical hits but 66 percent more damage since we're really not doing any kind of critical strike. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll start with that. 
and I'm just gonna give another point to health. Good enough, let's go to our mission. Travel... And as far as difficulty goes... Extreme or impossible? I feel like I could go with impossible, especially for right now. Let's go with impossible. Get a bit more of a challenge going. Though we started with a lot of money too. Since I already have a seasonal character, you get shared money, shared faith and all that. Which is going to come in handy for us. Inquisitor. The epidemic that spread through the relay station was just the prelude to a full-scale chaos infestation. The void station is in total lockdown until the decontamination teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive. And that could take time. Quarantine doesn't concern me, Captain. Think of me as decontamination crew and support team in one. Do you really believe that the Magos Biologus you seek is there? Alive? There are still people on the station. Metrodora Thelema is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. Okay, interesting. Maybe we'll just jump through the story. I, I was just waiting there for a second because I was curious to see what the voiceover is like and it sounded pretty good to me. We have a straight up attack here. It's like a bolter gun. We have a flamer. Fire Nova apparently just burns around us and then we have two abilities gain energy shield equal to 100 150% of your maximum hp on activation and has a passive effect after 8 seconds you lose the shield gain from any sources and release a nova that deals damage based on the lost shield amount good fiery heart 60 damage 5% chance on dealing heat damage to cause a small burst of flame, dealing 50% damage as heat and applying a stack of burn on enemies in 3 meters radius. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Really looking forward to making a nice build. have a few mines let's see if we can take care of them oof not too easily I wish we would have had an attack that moved us backwards rather than forwards I'll have to find a way to deal maybe I'll have a better flamer in the future if you don't know in these games like there are attacks like secondary attacks I feel where the you just move backwards while you keep shooting it's a very defensive position and it's it comes in handy quite often especially since you can have like high suppression and uh, when you suppress in this game Inquisitor, if you don't mind me asking you take uh, you so more sure damage but at the same time you move slower it's the yellow bar that you will see at the top for us the suppression is here one way in which you can remove it is just by Staying in cover. Was as strained as it seems. He must have been very close to the Lord Inquisitor, and he could have knowledge of important details. Okay, I have activated this ability here just to see what it does. But I guess it's still early on to where the effect is not as visible. I like what I see here. Inquisitor, I have completed the task you gave me. There is no trace of the Martyr anywhere in the logbooks of my ship. This ship is ancient and has traveled everywhere in the sector. And still, nothing. I suspected that much. It was worth a try. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. What happened to that logbook? 
It has disappeared when the Inquisitorial Purge destroyed the clan headquarters. It is indeed quite unfortunate, Captain. Now let's see. I'm not gonna read through this information. I am more curious about the class. Ready for my trial of faith. If you want me to do a run where I go through all of these knowledges and stuff like that, you can let me know. I mean, I've been through the story more than on one occasion. I pretty much know what happens, but I can spend some time doing that if it's something that you want to see. At the end of the day, I'm hoping that you're going to have a relaxing time. Maybe just come home from work and you sit back, you want to see the game and just relax. I'm just imagining that because that was me a while back. Now these days I've been playing more than I've been uh, than I've been watching others play, so I guess things change. I'm not looking for too much for right now because this is very early on equipment, so you'll be changing it around a lot. I just want to see like how do they look and things like that, and I'm gonna pick the generally speaking i'm gonna pick the weapons and the armor and the trinkets that have the most quality or which the game says that they're to have the most quality let's take you down good give me your treasures what did we get here okay nothing important Let's see, where are we going now? We are going to go back up and then to the, to the left. There is a way forward here as well. Maybe we need to find the archives and then return. I'm not sure, but let's explore the area, make sure that we've cleared everything out. If we can get some more equipment and experience especially, that would be great. Let's see, is there anything here or is it a dead end? Nope, apparently there is something. Yeah, so you see, he had a bar here, like right under his health. That is his suppression. The bigger enemies have suppression, the smaller ones do not. And when I'm saying bigger, I'm not just saying size necessarily, but the ones that are tougher, the ones that are more specialized, the ones that are less mindless. I feel like the mobs generally are mindless throughout the lore, not just the games. Very close to another level up here. Let's see. We have faith. It's at maximum level. Attacking, taking hits and using your inoculator all have a chance to generate a chain lightning that strikes three nearby enemies. Okay. Now we have maximum faith. Is there a way in which we could turn into a seraphim? Maybe we'll discover it a bit later. Inquisitor, our Argor readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. Great. Let's see, what is this shrine? Just a tech shrine, sure. We'll get the... the buffs here. I've used our abilities from the bottom. Uh, let's see. Have to pay a bit of attention here, should get some cover. But not too much. You're in the archives, Inquisitor. Try to find a cogitator that Cool. Let's go home. Let's prepare for the next mission. I received an achievement called Tools of Retribution. Don't know what it does, but we'll see it later. Passy, let's see. Kill 500 enemies with combo weapons, battle sister only. Ah, I see, okay. Plus one contempt points. Good. 
and we have another level eviscerator bolt pistol and chainsword and one passive skill point we received a blueprint for our reputation let's get this base chance if you don't know about this game and how it works as far as achievement goes there are a few achievements that you get overall there are some achievements that are class specific the cool thing about this game and it's not the only one but this is something that this game does and i do love this kind of stuff is that you if you complete these achievements right here you are going to get certain attributes you're going to get either passive like this attribute points or you're going to get these type of skills like some of them will unlock only if you go through this kind of heroic deeds and you can get a lot of advantages i do like this type of achievements i feel more inclined to grinding out for these rather than anything else at this point i'm not sure that there are a lot of people who still do achievements like seriously who are really active in trying to get the achievements but there i think i know only of one person who's who i feel like is really interesting as far as achievements and i'll tell you who it is about in a second what do we want to do with the inoculator do we want to keep it at 40 health 40 percent health recovery or do we want to do 10% health recovery with uh, 10 damage bonus for 20 seconds. Oh, is this like 20 per HP because it's both of these? I think it is. 6.6% 6 .6 chance to use inoculator for free and 16% extra experience. I do like the extra experience early on and if you can get some extra damage, that is not too bad. Mmm store let's sell everything we have here even this thing do we want to try a few other weapons out a blessed blade and rod let's try it out i can imagine what a bolt pistol and chainsword feels like so we're not gonna go with that we're gonna go to something that seems a bit more interesting to me Okay, melee attacks. Let's test it out in our next mission. Star map, yeah, we know about it. So there's this guy called Mortismal... Is it Mortismal Gaming? If you look for Mortismal, I'm sure you will be able to find it let's see search for magos in three systems yeah well let's start with this one and he's a reviewer who reviews games after a hundred percent completion and he's doing so like a hundred percent completion sometimes means just doing all the achievement in steam and he's made his steam profile public just so people can check it out and he's also trying when games don't have the achievements he's trying to do According as to much of the content found, as this is area known. is one of the potential locations where your magus biologus could be and it seems you've also got company Ooh, we only have two attacks with this weapon but wow look at the power of this you we have a rush a blade dash and an onslaught you know what i'll do Let's test this out. I might just reset the flamer if this is how it goes. I'm just gonna try this kind of melee build here. And I do like his style, like um, for Mortismal. I, I like what he does. I like the idea of him trying to complete 100% of the game before, before giving his opinion on it. And, you know. Try, look it up, see if you might actually like him as well. And you might get some good thoughts for, uh, or a few ideas for good games. Okay. 
Inquisitor, we have noticed some So this weapon, the melee weapon is really good for fighting mobs, but I don't see it being as good for buildings. Almost there, Inquisitor. That is one down. There's one ugly boil left in the area. There's another secondary objective here. Let's see, is there anyone else in this area or is is only the enemies? I feel like it just the enemies are around. Nice. So I'm just gonna go back down. I'm going to try to take the path over there and then we're gonna go to the main objective. But every little bit of experience matters at this point for me. Week of the challenger. PvP victories yield 10 to 15 fate. Now, I don't know what that is. Apparently, it's, we shouldn't have gone through here. Don't know what that is. I'm not really that big into PvPs. I've never been. Don't know exactly the reason. I, I feel like whenever I'm playing these games, I have always been curious just to see the graphics, see the mechanics, see uh, if I take a look at weapons, if I take a look at armors. I want to see what's new. I want to see what the creators have come up with. It's one of the reasons why I look up different types of drawings as well. I wish I would have been able to draw really cool, but I don't have. I haven't invested the time in actually doing it. Okay, let's see if we can stay a bit further from this guy. We're done here. We found another a blessed rod. This might actually be better. It seems like there's some empty slots. I wonder if we can customize them or anything. Maybe they're customizable. Because otherwise, why would you use something that really doesn't have a lot of abilities? Yeah, I think that that is it. Let me just show you what I mean as soon as we finish this battle. I think I'm going back to the flamer. When we're changing weapons, you can see that we have three attacks over here and then we have like these abilities. Should stop saying like. And there's an empty slot here, or what feels like an empty slot. But if I go here, these abilities move closer because these are the only ones that these weapons have. And it gives us two more slots. I bet that that is the thing. Oof. Mines, mines, hate mines. Hate mines with this build at least. I need some sort of a flamer to be using. Uh, from a distance. Or a weapon that allows me to retreat. Or a grenade. That could work as well. We'll have to think about it. Because of my love for things, how armors looks, and how armor look and things like that, I do enjoy this game because it has like it has the customization option of whatever you are wearing, just to to give it your own personality and stuff. Hive of Nurgle. No more sick protrusions into our world in this area. Should be focusing just a tiny bit more. Another chest here. The Emperor. The demon was bound to the chest. Let's see if we can take the demon down before it has a chance to attack. We did it. To reap the reward. A plague ogren. Okay, I can feel the buff here. 
but there's definitely a huge difference there. So Fiery Heart seems to be working really well. And because it adds fire attack, I'm imagining that what it does is also that it helps us. Yeah, it had 60 damage and because we took the perk or the skill to increase our heat damage attack, we got 77 now. Okay, the Magos is not here, so we are going back home. And we're back, we unlocked a flamer, digital weapon, a passive point, good. Let's see, what do we have here? Hmm. Thunderbolt of authority, bonus loot quality, I do like that. We're gonna pick it up for now. This was an interesting experience, but I do not like the getting that close and taking a lot of damage. So we'll keep the plasma for now. And that is going to be it. Passives. Let's see. Go further into this. Yes, at least for a while. Let's sell our stuff. What else? Anything to buy? Nothing that would really impress me. Plasma pistol and brazier. Range one-handed overheat. Hmm. You have called for me. Okay, let's see. Anything that I want to do here? No. Let us check. Mission deployment. Can we do this from here? I know there was a way. Yes, yeah, special missions. And we're gonna go to the frozen wasteland next. When we find these magos, we'll be able to change our inoculators around. You can have different effects, like the red slots will offer you different healing ability, like over time, more instantly, or things like that. The yellow ones will provide you with different types of buffs, while the green ones will provide you with defensive abilities, I feel. Omega's biologus could be. Unfortunately, the area is swarming with hostiles. Let's not waste too much time in the area, we're just gonna try to take these guys down and move quickly some of these open maps are my least favorite to be honest sometimes you might want to farm them but not now Inquisitor, we have received a distress call from a rogue trader in orbit. His transport crew on the ground was attacked by hostiles while moving important supply rates to the local administratum cloisters. They humbly ask you to secure the cargo before the cultists return for the goods. Okay, so we have a protection mission right here for the That's Emperor nice. and stuff. We'll remove the cargo from Let's the area, see. but it will take Deploy some time. Minefield. The sensors located sure, several I'll cultist place it down here. your location. Get ready to defend the supplies. Okay, apparently we place it really well. A refractor field. How 
many waves do we have? Two waves that we need to clear. One wave has been completed, we can deploy a tarantula which is a turret and we also have orbital strike. 1400, fairly squishy, but I guess the point of it is just to support us when we are not around. For now we are just gonna attack ourselves. There's not a huge range to this flamer. Once again we have a lot of faith. Now what do you think? If I press one of these buttons somewhere here? Yeah, probably better to use this on the big guy. He's not dead yet, though. Done. Cultist threat exterminated. And Keep that's it. Safe. Praise the Emperor. We'll take over from here and get them to the rogue trader. You can proceed with your mission, Inquisitor. Now let's see. If I want to look tutorial, is there anything here? Embodied Saint Form. To activate the Saint Form, wait for the bar to fill up and then press the Transform button. Okay. Controls. Let's see. Any Transform button here because I do not know what the Transform button is. F, inter but that's interact or execute. Hmm, we'll have to figure out with in between the missions. ourselves a bit of a buff here. This hey, we found the Magos, meaning we don't have to go to any other zone. Perfect. So now we're talking to her as soon as we see what we unlocked. Personal Void Shields, Hand Flamer and Rod. Saint, unlock Saintly Deeds, Spheres of Radiance, Globes of Light around you. The globes deal tremendous heat damage on heat. Okay, sounds pretty good. Completed the mission, let's see. Faith Abilities. We also unlock Chainsword and Rod, Contempt Point and a Passive Point. Here are our abilities, sacred right, so this is what is recharging us, but we need extra levels, so for the moment we're not going to read through all of them, we're just gonna read through what we have available. Gain 0.01 .01 continuous faith regeneration per second for each enemy killed for the duration of a mission, resets upon leaving embodied saint form. And then we have the acts of faith. 
Bolts of Retribution on activation slows enemies within 20 meters also gain a 25% chance to cause Thunderbolt of Authority for 20 seconds while using channel skills. Pa as a passive ability, chance for each equipped act of faith to cause vulnerability per damage type on hit. Well, yeah, so it is like that. These are like empty slots and you can equip them depending on what you need. And this one... Saintly Deeds, Cleansing Fame, okay, I'm not sure what this is, maybe it's the Angel the Saint form, I need enough. First you need probably, <laughs> okay, blah, 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 good to know, let's see, Coagulant, restore 60% HP on yours, that is what I want for right now, extra damage, 10% extra damage for 10 min 20 seconds, that's good. As far as character goes, let's get to this point where we can have a higher level of cooldown, and then we'll have to figure out how to build critical hit chance, but not yet. Straight up damage, base damage seems more than enough to, for what we need. Sounds good for now, let's continue forward. Travel to the next location. Mm. A lot of mornings when I make good coffee. were correct. The research sanctum has been attacked. I see signs of a recent struggle. I found the corrupted insignia of the Imperial Guard on the corpses. Deserters and heretics. That's for sure. And what were they doing there, looting a tech priest base? They must be either extremely reckless or very determined. I'll find out soon enough. Awesome stuff. Let's get this going. Hmm, I'm starting to like this weapon a lot. The fact that it has like this flaming attack and also has the straight up bolts. Should have been paid a bit more attention there. Because we spotted the traps. What is this mm. research sanctum exactly, Inquisitor? It belongs to one of the specialist divisions. I think we have Adeptus Mechanicus studying ancient artifacts. It surely has nothing to do with the whole complex being weirdly abandoned. Careful, Captain. You're being sarcastic again. Let's make sure that we activate some of our buffs here. Now is there anything on this side? Maybe we can find ourselves a good chest? Nope, nothing. At this point of the game, we don't really care that we're walking on mines or anything. Which is very different than how it will be later on. Mm, I 
think I'm just gonna go to the left here first. I think it was the right choice there. Ah, uh, didn't pay attention, I have died. I was just looking at the cogitator. Just getting overconfident here for a second. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Inquisitor, you have visitors. They seem to we need to defend the it. And then I will do my best to protect it. Oof, oof, oof. Is it over? Has the Kojitator survived can... the encounter? Certainly. It could be evidence in my investigation after all. Oof. Okay, no no joke with those shotgunners. Have to pay more attention. We'll get this. Improve some of our equipment here. 27% damage reduction from 17. I think we have one less slot there, but we get some sort of ability. 8% to all resist and 233 instead of faith. We get a jetpack. I know I know this kind of a jetpack when I see one. Yeah, let's see. Let's put this ability to good use. The Emperor's light has found me. Do I do prefer instead of this one? Damage bonus for AoE skills. I think I want this one again. The reason why is because we're losing the fiery heart. I will reorder this in a way that makes more sense in the future. Because I might just want to keep the fiery heart first. Do I do? Do you have any idea how these tech priests could have helped Lord Klosterheim? <laughs> If anyone knows anything about that show, I'll find it. How are you planning to proceed if they're all dead? They are hoarders. If they have found anything useful, it will be here. Inquisitor, Ooh. the hostiles nice are wreaking havoc on the corridors. Don't worry. I'll make sure that they don't destroy this corridor. This time we're gonna do better. Yep. Nothing in here. Nothing up here either. Let's just get ourselves some medical supplies and keep going forward. Let's take down the security door here and move away from the poison. Now what? We'll check this door. We'll buff ourselves up. Okay, this does not open, so that means it's a mission door. We'll get it later. So how curious, I am playing a double zealot within this game, within the Warhammer world. I'm playing Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, so you can check that out on the channel as well. It just released, I played in the pre-order beta, it was a lot of fun. Somehow that's how the idea for the two-headed wolf hammer <laughs> gaming channel has come around. Another wave is approaching. I'll make sure that the cogitator survives this engagement. There are so many Warhammer games that I've played and I, that I want to play that somehow it just seemed like it needed for myself 
it needed a channel of its own. And I'm sure that there are many of you who also feel like that, who enjoy all of these experiences. Then they were hired by a new patron to take out this facility. Considering that we're grasping for leads on a mythical ship that shouldn't even exist, this is not disturbing at all. So what next? The infiltration team must have a commander. I'll hunt him down and ask him some questions. I'm sure he'll be willing to cooperate. And we need those tech priests alive, if they are still alive. At least one of them should be alive. The instructions I found were very specific. Yeah, in between episodes, really need to find out that ability. I want to go into this Saint Mode thing. Does it say anything here? It does not. I am sure that somehow I am missing this. Maybe it's so easy. we have here have to retreat for a second let's not get overconfident once again mm, psychers yeah psy master here but we've got good experience out of it so that's good Give me double loot! Thank you very much. Time to go home. Now at this point I think I want to play more with the abilities. This jetpack is interesting in itself, but it doesn't seem like the type of character that I want to play. Unlock bolt guns. Extra component slot for new inoculators, unlock Saintly Deed, Divine Delivery and stuns every enemy within 10 meters and applies 10 stacks of hit vulnerability onto them. Burning enemies have 50% chance to explode. Yeah, I definitely want to play with more skills rather than anything else. So I am going to go back to the armors that will provide us with an extra slot there. Right, something like this. Chainsword and rod, do not care for it. I feel like this is probably the best way forward. Yeah, okay, cool stuff. Overheat weapon cooldown speed, sure, critical hits dealing hit damage burn the target. Yeah, we have these for critical hits. Do I want to go this way? With critical hit chance. Maybe we will start investing in that, but it will have to happen at a later date. For now, I'm just going to put a cut into the episode and we'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, do leave a like as it does help the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see anything related to Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40k, meaning a lot of games. And we will go forward from here. Until next time, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.